Mitigation measures to climate variability have been the stopgap measure to dealing with climate change. However, ecosystem disruption could sound the death knell to the existence of major landforms, including Mount Kenya, whose forest has been a source of natural mitigation to climate change. Kenya's economy is primarily dependent on our natural resources. And with this, Kenya Breweries Limited has moved in to forestall what could be a major climatic catastrophe of the 21st century. KBL is committed to reducing environmental impact. To date, we have planted over one million trees across the country, namely in the Abadea Forest, Ndakaini, Mao Forest, Kinale Forest, Gong Forest and Karura Forest with a success rate of over 80%. Mount Kenya Forest, as you all know, comprises one of the country's critical natural resources and is the largest water catchment in Kenya. This forest plays a crucial role in sustaining livelihoods, supporting food production, generation of hydropower, and in providing fresh water for industrial and domestic use. With 8 million shillings donation and 100,000 seedlings, the beer company hopes to rehabilitate a dangerously receding Mount Kenya forest. A tripartite collaboration between Kenya Breweries Limited, Nature Kenya, and the government will see the reforestation of the Upper River Tana ecosystem, a major catchment for the river that also holds the Seven Folks Dams, which is a main source for hydroelectricity power and agricultural basin. It's the largest water catchment area in Kenya and is a source of the Tana and Ewasonyiru rivers, which are vital for the country's economic development. Water companies, for example, require functioning ecosystem services to maintain the supply of quality water for all consumers. And we should therefore be determined to sustain it for the benefit of future generations. The state and the people of Kenya are therefore obligated to work to achieve and maintain a tree cover of at least 10% of the land area. Nature Kenya Executive Director Dr. Paul Matiku warned that rapid urbanization, population explosion and deforestation has negatively impacted the quality and quantity of water flowing downstream. He appealed to those downstream to motivate upstream communities in maintaining an ecosystem balance by protecting nature. Judith Akolo, Channel 1 News.